In May of 2012, Help One Films was invited to go to Haiti by a wonderful couple, Dharma and Sarita, from Amert, Haiti. We went to northwest Haiti in the very northern west tip with little infrastructure, very few roads, no public transportation, not really much electricity. It was amazing to see how the people there live. Life there is something that most people can't imagine. And yet what struck me was the women I met were so happy. They seemed to always be singing and dancing and fooling around, almost like little girls. And even though they have this really difficult life in this weather that is so stifling hot, they're having fun. They're just enjoying life. At the ocean we filmed women that come down from their village. It takes a day or so to walk down from up in the mountains to the ocean and they buy fish from the fishermen and they were sitting on the beach stringing the fish in preparation for carrying them back home with their children around and they were singing and dancing knowing that at the end of the day they were going to have to walk back up the mountain or the hill, whatever, a day or so again in this awful stifling heat. But they were happy. They're doing it. We filmed a woman at the market day, mass chaos women all over the place selling their wares, walking around with huge bowls on top of their heads, balanced on their heads of whatever it is that they were selling, putting their produce, their clothes, their shoes, even grains right onto the ground to sell. Some were cooking, and again, they're laughing, they're talking, they're singing, they're getting up and dancing. And at the end of the day, the trucks would come along and they'd load these huge bundles, they themselves, not young boys, the huge bundles that they did not sell back up onto the truck to go back to the village, which they are going to then walk back to and wait until the next market day. Amazingly strong. Amazingly strong. We saw, we filmed women farming. At that, at that time, the cash crop was onions. They were in the fields picking the onions, huge piles of onions, separating them, and then selling them in the markets. Uh, we even saw one family, one mother with a, like a ton of children camped out in a tent, pretty nice tent, waiting to get out to the fields to pick the onions. Um, we saw, everywhere we went, we saw women on the lanes, because I can't call them roads, on the lanes, walking everywhere with something in a bowl on top of their head. And even when you stop to talk to them, they don't even put their bowl down. They just It's just like part of their body. And they're just so regal standing there doing this. We saw a um, barefoot woman walking, woman with these horrible plastic sandals. There are no hiking boots or really well-fitted sneakers. They just do with what they have. We saw a woman carrying piles of sticks that they have gathered, which go to a pile that they burn to make charcoal, which is, their, which is what they cook with, and then carrying these huge bags of charcoal to market. Again, no young boys, just the women carrying these huge sacks. At the salt ponds, the most amazing thing, we saw women in the ponds and not young women, going in and sifting out the salt and carrying it out through the water in water that was sometimes thigh deep, coming through that muck and coming up onto the embankment and dumping the, their big bowl of salt and going back down and getting another to the point where I, my mouth was like open, I wanted, my mind was screaming, are you kidding me? Where are the young boys doing this? These women are doing this all on their own. And the only thing I can think of was like, these women are awesome. They, they do it all. Who are these women? Who are these women? 
They are strong. They're regal. They're tenacious. They're tough. They're stalwart. They're... 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 Obviously not like us. American women. Sorry. Yep. That sums it up. They're happy. They sing. They dance. They joke. They act like little girls. They're just happy. And their joy is infectious. And you, and you look at them and you say, Oh my... Oh my gosh, they have such a hard life, and yet they are so happy. Seeing this made me want to go back and just live with them for a while and, and film them and talk to them and try to understand how they could be this way. So we also went to meetings. After filming them, we were invited for the very first time ever to two meetings of these groups of women that have formed 20 to a group, and they're called, in English, we would call them self-help groups. In Creole, they're called, it's a Creole word for groups with heads. Kind of cool. And they, they meet on a weekly basis. They collect money. And at one point, they will be matched with what they've collected by AMERT. And then they will take these monies that they have, and they will lend it to women in their group who have a good business plan and have an idea for a business. And they, they support each other, they discuss problems, they, um, they bond, and at the end of the meeting they get up and they sing and they dance, which we filmed and it was amazing. And um, so these women, these groups now have, have spread to 50 groups in all of these outlying villages in this very rural part of northwest Haiti. And last year, for the first time, they came to Women's International Day, March 8th, and they sent 10%, 50% of each group. So they sent 500 women down. Some of them walked for days to get to this meeting. And um, from what I hear from someone who was there, they did skits and they did little acts and basically it was all about we are strong, we don't need men, we can do it all, we are a woman, hear us roar. So um, we are going back, Help on Films, next year, International Women's Day, to film these 500 women, which is going to be totally amazing, and watch Watch the enthusiasm and this excitement that they have of being empowered and making a difference. Because these women, these are the hope of Haiti. They're going to change everything that we think of Haiti. They're going to change. They're going to make it go forward. And um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And uh, I hope. I want, I wish, that the women that watch this will realize that you don't need to have a lot. You can live in horrible conditions, but if you have a dream or if you have the, the, um, the, the, the desire or the passion, passion, so if you have the passion to do something, to make a change, to make it better for your family, for your children, you can do it. Bond together with some other woman and just kick ass, and you know what? We are women, hear us roar.